Hey, Brian Goulet here, the Goulet Pen Company and Ink Nouveau. And this here is the detailed video showing how I actually did the measurements for all of the different pilot ink cartridge and converters. Uh, it was a little long to include in the first video and I knew that not everyone would have the attention span to sit here while I syringe in and out all these different converters. But for those of you that wanted the footage, here it is, enjoy. So how I'm going to do this whole experiment is I'm going to take this handy little ink syringe and I'm going to fill each of these different converters uh, to the appropriate level as if they were full in the pen. And then I'm going to put them into each of these vials and then show you the ink level of the vials. I've labeled each one, except I have two here for the Con 50 because it has this little agitator in here. And it is removable, though it takes a little bit of effort, so I'm going to show you the ink levels of both with and without that agitator. So I'm going to kick it off here with the Pilot Namiki ink cartridge. And I have this full cartridge. I also have this empty one where I already tested the experiments. And you'll notice here that it's not filled all the way. I'm actually going to leave about this much of a gap in each of the converters as I do the experiment, mainly because if you filled it all the way and went to connect it into your pen, this would spill out because you need room for it to actually fit into the pen. So that would give kind of a false impression of how much ink would actually fit in here in practical use. So I found that the level that it's at right here is, is pretty fair in terms of what the true ink capacity is for one of these uh, cartridges or converters. What I'm going to use for my experiments is this handy little uh, essentially just ink in water. Uh, it makes it a little easier to see the levels than it does for true ink. And I've got a Goulet ink syringe here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to fill up my syringe here, bring the cartridge ink level up to about where it would be if it was coming from the factory. Expel the rest out of there, make sure my syringe is nice and dry. And then rather than try and shake it out of the converter, I'm actually going to draw it back into the syringe and extract it out because I did not have good success trying to just shake it out of the cartridge. So I'm just going to suck it all out of there as it's coming out. Okay. I think I pretty much got it all. Okay, and that's the level of my Pilot Namiki ink cartridge. Which now for the Pilot cleaning converter. Got my syringe filled up. I'm going to put about the same amount of ink so I have a little bit of gap there at the top to account for the pen. Extract the rest out. Make sure that I got everything out of there. And there's my cleaning converter. Now for the Con 20. I'm going to do basically the same thing I did for the cleaning converter. I'm going to expect very, very similar results to the cleaning converter because, frankly, it appears to be pretty much the same converter. Shaking it out really good, making sure I got nothing in there. And this one appears to be pretty much 0.8 or 0.9, uh, about the same as where the cleaning converter was. So the first test I'm going to do is a Con 50 with the agitator in here. The agitator is going to take up a little bit of space. You can see here this is how the converter works. It's a little piston, so I'm going to go the piston all the way back, and I'm going to fill it, and I'm going to leave a little bit of gap at the top, just like I did for the other converters. And then this one, because it's got the piston, it makes it a little easier to empty out. Or so the theory goes. Okay. So now I've actually removed the agitator out of the Con 50. 
I'm gonna get my piston all the way up there. And I'm gonna fill it to about where I filled everything else. It is a little harder to just extract this without the syringe, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the syringe since I have it here at my disposal. Now for the big one, the Con 70. This one is very interesting filling, but using the syringe, it'll be pretty easy. Fill it a, leave a little bit of a gap at the top there like I did with everything else. And I'm gonna syringe it back out. This one can be a little tough to get everything out of there, but there we go. So I'll kind of summarize it here for you. I did the Pilot Namiki cartridge, and that I found was about 0.9 milliliters. And the cleaning converter and the Con 20, if there is any difference between them and the cartridge, I didn't notice. It might be slightly less, but essentially it's, I'm gonna call it 0.9 milliliters as well. So for all intents and purposes, these two converters are identical to the cartridge. The Con 50 with the agitator gets you about 0.6 milliliters. The, take the agitator out of there and it gets you closer to about 0.7. And then the most is gonna get you the Con 70 and that's right at about one milliliter. So if you have a pen, and you want to get the most ink to, into it as possible. If it fits a Con 70, put a Con 70 in there. But that's kind of limited. Not a lot of pens will take a Con 70. If you don't want to, if you don't want to, you know, buy a different pen, you've got a Namiki Falcon or, or a Pilot Metropolitan or something that won't take a Con 70, then I would go with the Con 20 or refilling your ink cartridges as a way of getting more ink than just your regular Con 50 will fit in there. Because if you got the Con 50 Conver uh, converters that are sold these days and you leave that agitator in there, you're going to notice about a 50% jump in ink capacity if you go up to a Con 20 or refill your cartridges. So that is kind of a noticeable difference. Even though the volume of ink may not seem that great, it will make a huge difference for you in practicality when you're writing. Hope you're able to glean something out of this video. Keep in mind, I am no scientist who was not my absolute strongest field in school. I felt I did a pretty decent job here. But of course, if you wanna do your own experimentation and get something more precise, I am more than open to hearing what you have to say. But I thought in practicality, this would at least show you that there are differences, there are, there are distinct differences between all these converters and uh, I at least wanted to help educate you a little bit, maybe to help make choices when it comes to buying which converter might be best for your needs. So if you have any questions or comments, you can always hit me up on YouTube or my blog, Ink Nouveau, or you can contact me on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching this video today, and right on.